Now, do you know that there's a close season in Ghana for hunting wild animals? Well, the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission has announced the 2019 closed season for hunting and capturing of wild animals. And they say it will commence from August 1 and end on December 1. The four-month ban is in line with the Wildlife Convention regulations and any person who contravenes any provision of the regulation will be guilty of an offence and liable on summary conviction to a fine. The hunting close season is an effort to halt the fast declining population of wildlife species, which according to the Forestry Commission is in decline. Deputy Chief Executive of the Commission, John Aloti, has advised hunters to respect and observe the ban. And the close season is a period that um, the uh, it's agreed by the wildlife division and other communities to be able to make sure that we allow the animals uh, to breed. Um, then, So that for the next uh, four months starting from tomorrow, we'll be able to allow the animals to breed so that they'll be able to produce more of the animals and be able to uh, maintain uh, their numbers. He have admits there's a major challenge in identifying the number of persons with hunting licenses, but says law enforcement will be enhanced to deal with recalcitrant hunters. Uh, uh, chiefs and communities, uh, but then there were uh, some recalcitrant ones and then we have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, apply uh, uh, minimum, uh, you know, force to be able to uh, arrest uh, some of them. Uh, but uh, what we continuously try to do is to carry out the education. While the close season is being observed, hunters will only be allowed to hunt grass cutters legally. And there was a report there. Joseph Yaopong is PR manager for the executive director uh, of the Forestry Commission. He joins us via phone for more on this. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, let, let me just um, find out from you uh, when we heard earlier of the close season for fishing. There was a lot of noise. There was a lot of awareness. Uh, I'm just wondering if same has been done with regards to this in communities known uh, predominantly for hunting. Uh, thank you very much. And may I use this opportunity to, on behalf of the Chief Executive, Mr. Kodo Sofri, a Forestry Commission Chief Executive, and his uh, deputy, Mr. John Alote, to thank all of you, both print and then the visual, for supporting us in this campaign. Yes, uh, we have been able to educate those around the past our protected areas because every year we announce it and this thing has gone on for several years but each and every year a lot of new people come into the communities and therefore there's the need for us to emphasize this kind of ban to the hearing of everybody especially our keeping farmers and their hunters who are used to going to their farms to hunt in order on the course of uh, protecting their farms, as they used to say, and even getting some protein for their food and other livelihood options. So we have been able to do the sensitization along the protected areas where we have our officers and guards who protect the, the areas. Uh, with the exception of the uh, urban Operation. And so that is why we have partnered you to support us so that the message can be louder and clear and go far to all the crevices of the nation. So we thank you very much. We have done a lot of sensitization, but we need to emphasize it more. That is why we have called on you and exactly what you are doing for us now. The bank starts from 1st August each year and ends on 1st December each year. As you have rightly said, mm. these are the breeding periods for all the uh, wildlife, majority of them, because the research has shown that during this period, a lot of them are pregnant, and we also have younger ones that need to be brought up. So just like human beings, excuse me to say, and when ladies give birth to younger ones, they are given mm. a period of, say, 40 days in order to get some kind of medication and eat well so that uh, all the lost blood and other things can be replaced. 
So he seemed to the animals. Mr. And Pong, that is why the ban has been uh, put in place. Mr. So Pong, we are, of grass cutter. Mm, yes, I was coming to that. And so the you have exempted hunting of grass cutter. So any farmer or any hunter can walk into the bush and say they're going to look for grass cutter. How are you sure that that's what they're actually going to get? Or how are you ensuring that they actually don't enter the forest with the uh, excuse that you're going to look for grass cutters and end up, you know, killing other uh, uh, um, 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 animals? Yeah, I must say that it's not easy maybe monitoring all the farmers and then the hunters. But what we normally do is that we urge them to come for permit uh, before they go hunt. We will call it a hunting permit. And then when they come for the hunting permit, then we know the location where they are. Apart from that, we also have people who deal in the bushmeat. They are not hunters, but they sell it along the roadside. We call them uh, bushmeat sellers. So we issue receipts for that. Did you heard that Joseph Yaopong, he's PR of the Executive Director of the First Commissioner. Thank you so much for your time, sir.